Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael here from Local Cook Recipes. We are going to make an onion soup and for onions you really need some onions. Not one, not two, certainly not three, four, five, six. Well actually you do need six, but that's about the minimum, yeah. Uh, I got eight here because I thought the onions were a bit small, but you also need some beef broth. Uh, you need about one and a half liters of it. So I uh, put them aside, and by the magic, they have been put aside, and a plate magically appears. This means that we're going to cut an onion. Of course, everybody knows how to cut an onion, but um, I'm going to show it really sped up here. And indeed, please consider donating a subscribe. Subscribe for the effort and the delicious onion soup. So after you have been cutting the onions, it's always a depressing thing, cutting onions, makes you cry, but I do have a nice tip for you guys. Yes. If you use a little candle next to it, it burns all the teary stuff which goes into your eyes, and after that you will have really a lot less trouble with cutting all the onions. And as you can see here, I have put a big pot, or how do you call it, a big bucket of onions. And after this big bucket of onions, we are going to grease the pan. I'm only going to use half of it, and the reason being that is when I bake the, um, because I'm going to bake them, when I'm going to bake the, uh, the onions, all the uh, excess moist is going to be caught in the uh, pan next to it. So, first go for a third of the onions, and after that, insert some butter, as you can see here. Go for uh, the two thirds, and guess what? Yes. Can you imagine? Can you, can you, can you guess? Yes, we are going to put in some more butter. Nice. There's no real rocket science to this, just random chunks of butter which you can cut off. It's just more the distribution of the butter between the onions, so they get all covered. After that, you will be putting on your slow cooker, and when possible, put it on 15 hours low. Yes, 15 hours. It's really a long time, but the cool thing about this is, is that the onions will be... How do you call it? Caramelized, yes, that was the word. As you can see right here, and if you look closely on the pan to the right side, there is a lot of water, and that's the water which is caught by the, uh, the other pan and will be staying intact. Look at all those glorious onions, yummy! These have been caramelized for about 15 hours, and after that, you will be inserting the beef broth. Oh, doesn't that look good? Give it a good stir. And put it on high. I forgot to film that, but you have to put it on high for about one hour. So the onion and the flavor of the onion can be inserted in the beef broth. And then you will get a really nice, really, really nice textured, textured soup. Can you imagine that uh, uh, a restaurant quality soup is that easy? And trust me, it is really delicious. It's so cheap, even students can make it. And it's a really good alternative for ramen. And supposedly you could even put some ramen in there. This is how the color looks. And the quality of the soup is really amazing. Season it with salt and some pepper. I used a little pinch of pepper and it well, it, it, it's wonderful. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. And of course, have a good meal.